and we're going. <laughs> Take a while. Unbelievable. Okay, uh, Wednesday afternoon, greetings one and all. <laughs> Our usual get together, middle of the week. I'll start with a, well, let's see, I'll start this off with a little bit of a uh, uh, personal update of sorts. Um, I'm going to be in Hershey on Saturday night. Yeah, I know I'm going with my brother. I can endure a three-hour ride, or believe me, I can endure a three-hour, three-and-a-half-hour ride to Hershey. I can handle that. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's probably going to be an eight-hour train ride to Boston to June, and believe me, I'll get to that uh, when the time comes. Uh, the things I do, <laughs> I don't know. I actually was planning on staying home on a Saturday night. I don't even know if the Caps were playing Saturday or not. I'll have to go look here, go fire up my cell phone and look, whatever the case is. <laughs> and the fucker refused to work anyway yesterday, or, well, it worked, but not the Wi-Fi aspect. You know, that kind of fucks me up, man, when I do this on the cell phone. I do just about everything on it now, you know, except that I'm using it as a phone. <laughs> I don't think that's what I did before. That's not it here nor there, and I'm rambling, and I don't mean to ramble. Ah, oh, I know you think here a lot of surprises. Uh, notably, the Caps last night. Now, I've got to be completely honest that I didn't even see the game. I was uh, also busy watching the Nationals. You know, basically watched them lose to Detroit six to three on that. You know, but. I was so busy with that, so busy, you know, playing a whole game on my cell phone that uh, I didn't even get a chance to pay attention to the Caps game. And what little I was on, I uh, happened to notice the Caps were down two nothing to the Islanders in the first period. I thought, well, you know, maybe I'll get back. I missed the entire game. Didn't even know until, I don't know, a little after 10 o'clock or so, you know, perusing the dial that uh, they'd actually won the game 5-4, four, 5-4, uh, five, four, five, four, thank you, um, in the shootout. <laughs> I mean, this is surprising. It's like they were down 4-1 to one in the second period. And you roar back the tie. Send this thing into overtime, take it to a shootout, and thank you, Matt Hendricks, for actually getting the game winner in the shootout. But, you know, the fact was, I want to miss the game. <laughs> I don't normally do that. Oh, well. Well, I don't have anything to worry about that. There's no caps to disturb me, no Wizards game to disturb me. They lost last night. But at least it was close. You know, I mean, you're playing the Mavericks, and it was close. I caught the tail end of it. You know, there is hope. Uh, this is still a losing team. You know, so I'm just not going to spend my time on that. Uh, mm. Oh, I don't know what I was wanting to get to next. I couldn't even think of it. Uh, everybody knows the story by now. Uh, how Roger Goodell decided he was going to punish... Uh, Jerry Jones and Dan Snyder for uh, essentially overdoing it for the 2010 season when there was no salary cap. So what does Roger Goodell do? Uh, he basically tells Jerry Jones, okay, we're going to take $10 million away off your salary cap deal. Uh, but they went after Snyder and said, okay, this is, you're going to get dealt with $36 million. Now this is all over two years. That's my understanding, but, you know, my question, though, is I seem to remember uh, the 2010 season that it was no salary cap, but this was by basic agreement with the owners of the Players Association, or at least they knew the owners all went along with it. You know, they figured that this was their way of opting out from the collective bargaining agreement that had been signed in 06, and, uh, was going to expire anyway in 2010. So, you know, the owners signed off on this. 
you know, they vacated the CBA, and that's what and that's why this whole thing kicked in in 2010, like it did, where there was no salary cap. So, of course, Jerry Jones and Dan Snyder, being the drunken sailors they are, and you know what that is, you know what I mean, kids. You get, you get, you know, you stand there and spend money like drunken sailors on shore leave. And you know, and I can stand here and tell you, you know, what you know, how, how did this work for out for the Redskins? Well, fuck you. We know how it worked out. It stank the high heaven, didn't it always? But still, my question that I have. Why are you punishing now for something that the owners went along with two years ago? You know, now you decide to punish? You know, that part I don't understand. You know, I can understand maybe a slight reduction if you were going to do something like this. But why do it two years after the fact? And something, as I said, with the owners, all 32 of them went along with this. You know, so... You know, that part I don't get. I don't think anybody really does. Um, whew, try to catch more out here. <laughs> oh, God, what was I thinking of? Um, oh, I know what I was going to think of. Uh, I had a comment. Uh, uh, well, what had happened was I ran across... One of the great advantages, again, was having my cell phone, my new cell phone, which I've had since the end of December, is I'm actually able to follow or at least keep up where I am on YouTube. It's not just when I make these videos. I just I have to stand here in front of a webcam on top of my monitor for my computer and do this. I can't do a video where I'm standing here trying to address everybody on a cell phone. I haven't quite worked that out yet. However, I have figured out there's a way I can actually stand there and do videos on that, and I will be able to uh, to upload those, and you'll be able to hear my happy, shiny voice, uh, which I may do. I don't know. I may do this if I go to Hershey Saturday night. I'm definitely going to try to do this in June when I go up to Boston. Saying here to see if I can shoot a video, do enough narration, <laughs> and they'll all be spared of seeing my happy, shiny face. Anyway. Um, what I was getting back to, oh, so, hang with my cell phone like I did, I peruse YouTube, so, you know, I go over these videos, like, on the front page and everything, and run across this stupid-ass little video of Rick Santorum, who basically is so much of a fucking idiot, and I left the comment and basically said, you know, this is a stupid-ass pro-life religious scumbag. Which I'm not going to back off from. I got the comment. He said, "Yeah, we know it's, it's his pro life." I said, "Well, really, it's pro birth." You know, the comment goes. The, the, the response to me was, "He said, oh, well, it's not really pro life. It's more like pro birth." That after that, he could give a rat's ass. <laughs> well, you know what? And, and that's probably more dead on target than anything I would have said. But it got my point across. You know, this this fallacy, and let's face it, folks, the Republican Party, if anybody knows it or has known it for the last couple hundred years or so, it's dead. I mean, it's dead. It's not, uh, it's not the same thing my, my dad belonged to, my brother belongs to, although he's more of a teabagging fascist than, than any of them that I describe. Trust me on this. <laughs> but anyway, my point was, you know, uh, oh, they, they did these primaries in Alabama and Mississippi yesterday, and this dumbass Santorum wins both of them, blah, 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 and all that. Okay, that's it for my political talk for the day. <laughs> oh, God. <coughs> oh, I, wow. I told you, dry throat, folks. This happens. This is what happens when you start talking about politics before November. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Uh, I don't know what else really to say. Uh, the Nationals were on tonight. Uh, it's on the MLB Network. I don't know. They'll show it here. They may show it here. I don't know. 
uh, it all depends. If they show it locally here in the DC area, you know, like on mass, and they'll black out the MLB network. Otherwise, I might be able to see it. One way or another, I may be seeing this. Uh, so it will be your one opportunity if you have not had the opportunity to see Bryce Harper. Uh, it's first appearance in uh, some time. Uh, so that's pretty much we're winding at. Uh, we are winding down on spring training. Thank you. I got to get these words out. <laughs> oh, well. All right, I'm done. I think I can. Try to fix this video in post-production, stop the shaking and everything. It annoys the hell out of me. Are you listening to me YouTube on this? This video keeps, you know, somehow this video keeps shaking when I do this shit, and I have to go in and stabilize this thing in post-production. Yeah, so there's my complaint. Uh, if you want to watch it as such. I shall see all of you when I get around to doing a video. I don't know if I'm going to do one on Friday or not, but... <laughs> If I don't, you know, I'll let everybody know something about how the game turned out in Hershey on Saturday. One way or another, I'll let somebody know. <laughs> so, um, that is it. I'm out of this. Adios, motherfuckers. Now i got to wait for the damn picture to unfreeze. Wonderful. Ah, there we are. Or there it was. Unfreeze, you motherfuckers. It won't unfreeze. Okay, I think we're done. All right, we're done. Adios, motherfuckers. I'm out the door. Start processing.